guys, I'm Joan. And I'm Joanita. And we are students of Ghana Christian International High School. And we urge you all to subscribe to his love TV. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Hello there. You are welcome to His Golf TV. Um, before we begin with our lessons for today, I would like to remind you to subscribe to the channel and also um, recommend to your friends in other schools. Please subscribe um, to uh, support us in the work that we are doing. Um, this is a channel dedicated to the teaching of history, CRS, government, and very soon we'll be adding social studies as well as other um, subjects from the WASI SHS um, level. Um, yes, yeah, so today we are looking at uh, Form 2 um, history, uh, the, and the topic we'll be looking at, the broad topic, is the peopling of Ghana um, in the northern zones. So we'll first take a look at the northern zone area, the peopling of Ghana. And then, specifically, we will look at the people, I mean, the people in Ghana. We will introduce ourselves to the various people that live in the country um, called Ghana today in West Africa. Okay, and then we also look at the characteristics of the indigenous people who settled in northern Ghana. Sorry that I did not, the other part did not come, but the indigenous people of northern Ghana, those are the people that we will focus on um, in our discussion today. So in our previous lesson or discussion, we looked at the the, the rise of towns in Ghana. Uh, we looked at some of, I mean, the histories of some of the early towns like Bego, um, uh, Kumase, Edina, and other towns. We also looked at the rise of these towns, the factors that enabled these towns to rise. And so, should in case you missed out that lesson video, um, kindly uh, visit the page. I, I will add the link in the description under this video so that you can watch that video as well. And so today, like I said initially, we are going to introduce ourselves to the people that live in present-day Ghana. Don't forget that um, after the partition of Africa, the various states that lived independently on the African soil were forced together to live among themselves under one ruler. All right, and so in our lesson today, you will realize that the people that live in Ghana are almost different, different. They belong to different, different ethnic groups with different um, background, with different uh, um, social cultural activities, as well as different um, languages. And so that is what we'll be looking at. Let's go in there and look at our, our lesson objectives for today. So our lesson objectives for today will be the first one that you should be able to identify the different ethnic groups that live in Ghana today. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to be able to identify, if you ask the state or identify the different ethnic groups that live in Ghana today, you should be able to do that by the end of our discussion. The more so, you should be able to identify the indigenous people of northern Ghana. So our first section will be a broad survey of the people that live in Ghana. So you should be able to know all of them. Then our second survey will focus on each of these groups of people based on their um, um, region. So we will look at the northern zone first. And so when we look at the northern zone, we should also be able to identify the indigenous people um, who live in the northern part of Ghana. Uh, yes, in the indigenous people, the indigenous, the local people, the people who were born and bred there, who owned the lands uh, before the invasion of any other people. We should be able to know them. Then also highlight the characteristics of the indigenous people of northern Ghana. What is peculiar among all the indigenous ethnic groups that live in Ghana? You should be able to highlight the, the, the similar characteristics um, that these, all these ethnic uh, groups or indigenous people that live in Ghana Possess. So these three objectives should guide us in our discussion um, today. So I am very confident that by the end of this um, lesson, you will be able to uh, identify and highlight these issues that we have talked about there. Good. So let's move on to, let's begin with our lesson. Good. So 
we'll begin our lesson with the introduction of introduction to the people of Ghana. So this map here represents uh, the map of Ghana. That's present day Ghana. This map here, of course, represents the map of Ghana. Um, you can see different group of people um, located uh, or found in this map of Ghana. This area is, okay, so yes, so you can find them here. Let's come back, uh, we, we shall come back to the map again. But in Ghana, the major ethnic groups are Akan, the Ga Adangwe, and the Ewe, as well as the Mampusi people, the Dagomba, and the Nanumba. And these people are referred to as the Moli Dagwani people. That's the Mampusi, the Dagomba, and the Nanumba are all part of the Moli Dagwani people, as well as the Gunja and the Guan. So there are more ethnic groups in Ghana, but the major ones, okay, the ones with uh, more people are what we termed as the major ethnic groups. So there are more. And so let's try and locate these ethnic groups uh, on the map of Ghana where we can find them. So the Akan, for instance, the Akan are the largest ethnic group in Ghana today. And this is the area of the Akan people. Have you seen? Very, very large as compared to the other people. So the Akan over here. And then we have Asante. So among the Akan, we have so many ethnic groups, um, so many tribes in the Akan. Okay? So the Akan is made up of, it's an umbrella. And under that umbrella, we have so many tribes in there. So the Asante tribe, of course, can be found in the Akan. The Fante tribes can be found in the Akan. The Equiapim tribe can be found in the Akan. The Achim are part of the Akan. The Dentura are part of the Akan. And so all these are tribes that are found in the Akan. So the Akan is an umbrella something. Then we also have the Ga and the Ga Adangwe, two, peop two um, people. Uh, the Ga and then the Adangwe people. So let's try and locate the Ga and the Adangwe people. The Ga and Adangwe people are found here. So look over here. You can find the Ga and Adangwe. They are found in the capital town of the country. Then we also have the Ewe people. The Ewe people are also found in the Votan region over here. So that is where the Ewe people are. Then we have the Mampusi, the Dagomba, and the Nanumba. They are made up the Moli Dagwani. Um, states and they are found here the Moli Dagwani state. So we have Nanumba here. We have Mampusi here. We have Dagumba here and We even have the Talansi and the Fra Fra and the Konkomba and then of course, of course the Konkomba people over here All right, then we have the Gunja. The Gunja are also found Over here in in the northern part of Ghana. Then the last people we have the Guan and the Guan were initially in the northern part uh, so you can find them over here, but the Guans will later spread and even some of them could be found in this area. Okay, and so that is, these are the, the, the major ethnic groups and their location on the map of um, Ghana today. Okay, good. So if you ask to mention any ethnic groups that you know in Ghana, you can mention any of these ethnic groups that we have talked about in case you are asked to identify any ethnic group. Uh, now, let's look at something here. All these groups of people were not indigenous. Interestingly, all these group of people that we talked about, the Akan, the Adangwe, the Ewe, the Mampusi, the Gomba, the Numba, the Moli, the Guani people, the Guan, the Gonja, all of them were not indigenous, which means that they were all not, they did not originate from the area that they are found today which then suggests that all these people or ethnic groups that live in Ghana today migrated from elsewhere to settle in Ghana. And we will later on look at where all these people moved from to settle in Ghana. That is what you should know. All these people we have mentioned, the major ethnic groups that we have mentioned, were not indigenous. They, they migrated from somewhere to settle at where they are today. Now, all these people have legends and traditions which postulate that their ancestors originally came from elsewhere. So that is what I'm saying, that all these people have legends, traditions, stories to show that they did not originate from Ghana. And example of these people 
let's take a look at some of them, some of these stories. So the Airways, for instance, believe that they migrated from Yoruba town of Kitu. So the Airways who, who are found here in the Volta region, if you, if you listen to their oral tradition, they say that they migrated from Yoruba, uh, from Kitu, all right? Uh, of course, modern day now in Nigeria. The Gunja, these people, if you, if you listen to their oral tradition, they also says that they, their forefathers also migrated from the Mande land, okay, the Mande land. And then also the Moli Dagwani people who are made up of the Mampusi, the Dagomba, and the Nanumba also says they migrated from Lake Chad, okay, Lake Chad region, somewhere in the central region, these people, the Moli Dagwani people. So these oral traditions attest to the fact that all these people that live in Ghana today were not indigenous of this area. However, they all migrated from elsewhere to settle in present-day Ghana. And so that is that. That is that. Okay. Good. So I believe that um, let's take a look at now. Let's go in there and look at the the northern people. All right. Um, the northern people. But I, I think I may want to reserve the northern people for another time. Are you okay? Because I don't want to exceed a certain um, number. So I will we will end with the introduction to the people of Ghana. And then we will look at the northern people in our next video. So please kindly subscribe to the channel. And if you are asked to mention any four or three major ethnic groups that are found in Ghana today, you should be able to do that. Okay, it's quite simple. All right, so subscribe to the channel as you have seen it over here. Please subscribe and let's meet some other time for the northern people. So we'll take each of the group individually and then we'll focus on them. Have a nice day.